Oh, morning, morning. It's Monday morning and I have a very, very small amount of stuff to post. Um, so I'm going to shoot out and do my post. Uh, <laughs> I know why. Because obviously I didn't put any videos on at the tail end of last week. I wasn't feeling very well on Thursday. I woke up feeling absolutely terrible with my head. I am still very dizzy um, and that's what it was. It was like, it was terrible dizziness. And I felt really, really helpless on um, on that, that morning and I sort of sat here like freaked out, sort of like folded myself up and ate my breakfast and, and then I just decided to just pack up my stuff, go and take my post. It was quite early and I just thought, well, I can just I can deal with it. It's really windy if I remember as well. And I could I could sense that there was something not right with this ear. This is the ear which is damaged. So there's like four percent damage in this ear from an infection that I had in 2016, which has left me with permanent dizziness. It's as fun as it sounds. But on that Thursday it was a hundred times worse. So I actually felt like I should have gone out with a walking stick. Anyway, I went and I did my post and then I just decided that I was just going to sit here and just quietly do my accounts and I'm still doing it. I've sorted through all my receipts and I'm sort of just going through everything, making sure that, you know, all the like sundry things like sellotapes and things are all on my spreadsheet, making sure that, all, that everything that's on there makes sense, putting in like the amounts of things that I've paid for air mails and making sure that all the files that are on that are saved on my computer are correct because I just I, it was the only thing that I felt I could do I had stuff photographed ready to list and I was in the middle of doing Lego but the Lego sets that I was doing had pieces missing and just being up and down looking for pieces of Lego was making, would have just been too much. I would have been moving my head too much because that's what sets me off. And even if I was doing listing of my photos, which were all there, even that like laying it out and looking at it and checking it and measuring it, even that would have been too much. So I have literally just sat and worked through my spreadsheet um, and I'm a long way into it. I'm going to finish it this week because then I can get my spreadsheet updated for this tax year. So it's a really good time to do it because then I can take what I've got there because it's got all the, the unsold stock and then I can do a full stock take on that, make sure that all that makes sense, make sure that there's no entries that are missing and that will just see me into this tax year really well and really organized and then not let myself get into the state again so that's what i'm doing and it's also highlighted because i've been sort of looking at it it's just it's made me hate boris johnson a bit more because of what he's done to us but it just made me realize just how up and down my sourcing spends are because you can see where we've like come out of lockdown and then i've spent too much money on stock it's not so bad the, the, the more recent months, like in the last six to eight months, generally I only spend about £200 on stock. You know, maybe sometimes it gets closer to the 300 mark. But on some of those, April last year is absolutely crackers because obviously we'd come out of lockdown and I'd just gone crazy. And it just completely wipes out any money that you make. And I mean, I know it was necessary, it just makes me so angry. I feel like I'm I feel like I'm permanently angry about these things and other people just let it slide. You know, like people just think that the way every, the way the government behaves is just reasonable. But I don't know, it's really <laughs> it's really annoying looking at it. But anyway, it's gonna get done. But it does mean that I wasn't listing as much from Thursday onwards, and although I had a load of stuff that was scheduled. It's not been enough to keep the sales going. Um, when I say I had a load of stuff, I had like five things each day that were going live. 
uh, you know, in five auctions from relists, but it just wasn't enough to continue with decent sales. So it's really not very good. So I will have to like do some listing. And because it's, it is messy in here, I've got stuff from a week ago, which I sourced, which hasn't been taken out of its bag. So I need to do that. I've got stuff that's freshly ironed there, which has just not been dealt with because I just felt, I just didn't want to be unnecessarily moving around, but I will get it sorted this week. I've got to go out anyway tomorrow and get my husband's prescription. So I'll be sourcing some more tomorrow, <laughs> but it, it's really highlighted how having some low cost sourcing months would be really beneficial. But anyway, things that are going out, this has sold for 20 pounds and that's going to the US, I think. Um, that's religion. These are religion t-shirts, which I do quite like. I don't mind not having gone outsourcing um, because I just don't want, I can't be near spinning children while I'm feeling like this. I don't really know why I'm feeling so bad. I've got these cropped trousers. These are gone for $17.99. White stuff, cropped trousers. I think, yeah, they've got a mark on there, which they probably haven't read about. Uh, I think the, the other, the bizarre thing was, is that I know I've had a decent weekend. You know, just generally a decent weekend. I had, I hadn't sent out offers out, and yesterday I had forty offers that I could send out, and I sent all them out, and it led to nothing. So, what gives? I have these. This has been my most watched item for the last like three months. So these are wide leg trousers. And unbelievably, they're by Cos. So I've got $22.99 for them. Or maybe $21.99. Um, it, it's just been one of those things that I kept sending offers out for like 20. Um, I don't think my off the offers that I sent out were as generous because I don't like the rise in my post. But you see, that's another thing doing my account is knowing that there's so many months where I was sending, you know, I was posting stuff at the um, £3.65 first class um, level and it didn't, I didn't care about it and now we're at 3 95 for first, first class, it's like really wound me up because we were, we went down to 3 35 I don't know. Um, this is a jigsaw um, jigsaw linen top and this is a little vest top this was one of my auctions which has just gone for 4.99 so that's a fat face size 16 but it is a rather a big 16 so i hope this doesn't come back uh, just a little vest top yeah see even my auctions have gone a bit dead and you know most of my fresh stuff was on auctions um summery like dresses and things and it's not gone anywhere i've also got a pair of chino trousers there but the person has said i'm on holiday please don't post these it really winds me up when people do that because i just think i just want to post it i just want to post it oh, i found this poly bag absolutely disgusting this color and it's stuck itself to itself um, so I'm going to finish my accounts and I am going to then do a big stock take of everything once I've got that spreadsheet sorted and hopefully going to be really tidying everything up, all the stuff which is in a right mess. Okay, that's supposed to be, this one's the just put something in there and it doesn't want to go in there because it's going abroad that one. Oh yeah I can't believe how little post I've got here it's really irritating. 
it's just so frustrating that you can just take your foot off the gas very briefly. So you remember all that rain that we had last week? Um, our bathroom ceiling is falling in because when I found that we had a problem and that we had a leak and I told the caretaker and reported it to the wankers who I have to pay a lot of money to and they're denying the fact that they've ever had these emails so I'm going to now take a picture of all the holes in our ceiling I mean basically I'm now frightened to have a bath because we have some very heavy tiles that are all the way on the bath and there's a good chance that they'll probably fall in I can't show you it because we've got the fan on at the moment so because it's internal it's the most internal room I'd have to turn the light on um, and the fan goes on when we turn the light on because we've got to air it out because there was a big balloon of water which we put a hole in it's high ceilings here so we've got to get on the ladder put a hole in that and a load of water's come out into the bath and then the whole back wall so the bit above it has got plaster and that's sort of got a balloon on it which has got the water on it um this is what's happened now because we've had all this rain i told them three weeks ago that there was a leak that i was aware of because that i could hear and they just ignored me and haven't done anything and now it's becoming a problem so there's a good chance that the tiles are probably going to fall off the wall and they're really heavy serious tiles so it's not going to be very impressive if i have a bath there's a potential of death <laughs> Which is really annoying. I, well, I suppose at least I'm saving money on water. Water? Oh my God, I've become American and I'm frightened to put the tea in water. Um, yeah, not impressed. So I've got to go and take a photo of that and try and get some sense out of the managing agents and see if they're actually going to do anything. So these chinos, I'm going to put... I'm going to print the label and I'll probably just stuff it in the post on Wednesday. It, it annoys me when people do that because you, you can, you I'll still get a ding on my account, won't I? Because it will say, tracking shows late dispatch. So, I don't, I don't like it when people do that. So, right, so that's, um, that's what I'm doing. I know it's not very interesting, but that's what I'm doing. And, and I don't know, maybe there's other people out there who might have my illness thing. So I am just going to crack on with this. Um, I'm hoping I can get all my accounts into this. It's really starting to bust out now. But I don't know. It's one of those where you can sort of like, you can press this out, can't you? I can press this out without I've got it like buttoned up at the minute. Just fold that bit out and it won't look so bad. I just don't want my accounts to take up so much room. It pisses me off. <laughs> right. Yeah, that's my that's my quest. Um, and then I've got to get rid of all this stuff. There's just stuff everywhere. And the other room is terrible. So there's going to be very little sourcing going on um, until the kids go back. But... I have got some stuff here which I can show you, which is all of this, um, which I probably will put onto my spreadsheet today, but I'm going to recite the camera before I do that because it's a bit too, there's too much light behind me, so I'll show you that in another video or later on, later on, later on. Okay, let's crack on with the day. This is bathroom. This is dirt from all the water we've had to drain out. So those are the holes. There's a big there's a big balloon there, and then it's all running down the wall. So all of this is wet. And that is where it was a big bulge. You probably can't see it, but there is a bulge, and there's a sort of like line there. So it's all 
that was all water and that all poured out, hence why it's ditched in the bathtub. Um, and then when it rains again, this is going to all start. And the worrying thing is, is that this, these really heavy tiles are now adhered to a saturated wall. Uh, so I've emailed them this morning uh, with pictures. Uh, so they'll probably ignore that. Here's some frogs, because I know you've missed them. Fresh clean clothes for me. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why I didn't put them in the video last week. Uh, but, you know, I know people miss them. Right, post dropped off. Um, and Tesco. <laughs> so Tesco now, they're digging up the road again. They'd sort of eased off a bit, so they're digging it all up and out, and there's a very, very small bit, which is only big enough for a very small car to drive in and out now. So should be some decent bargains this week on the next coming weeks while they're just doing that. So meringues, always like meringues. They're not cheap, but 116. I do like them. I nearly put this back, but then I thought, do you know what? It is nice. Just one of these selection things, 168. Uh, two of these, they were 153. You know, cheap meal, cheap meal. And then two of these pizzas, so they were 72p, usually 160. And they, they're great because when, another time when we're just feeling lazy, we just have them in the freezer. And then we just chop up a whole load more veg, peppers and things, and just make pizzas. You know, make some more interesting pizzas. <laughs> Not fantastic. Um, there was some other stuff that I might have picked up, but it wasn't, like, extraordinary. I expect... Well, I won't be able to go tomorrow because I'm going the other way. Um, but sometimes it just becomes a bit cheaper. When they've piled up lots of stuff for them from the weekend, they tend to reduce it over the course of the day. But anyway, I'm going to carry on with my accounts now and see how far I can get on with that. And then hopefully it will just be a whole weight off my mind. And that's, that's it. Yeah, my sales have tanked a bit because I'm not listing as much. But I just want the peace of mind of having my accounts sorted. It's... You know, and then I better file my tax return. Imagine that doing it early. That'd be weird, wouldn't it? Okay, we are on Tuesday morning. And this is me. I have washed my hair, so you know, there's an excuse for that, but I am like a ball of anxiety. Because I realised that I haven't actually well it's just I realised that I haven't actually slept properly because every time that I was like, right, I'm going to sleep now, I realised that you know, like 10 minutes later, I was awake thinking about leaking um, bathroom roofs. And now it's torrentially raining today. So it's just like, it's just a knot and I'm just freaked out. It's so annoying because it's like, there's nothing I can do about it. And it's like, I pay a service charge for the building managers to deal with this and they've just... You know, I told them about it a month ago and it's just not a priority for them. You know, so it's leaking into our bathtub. So, you know, I suppose I should like think, well, that's small mercies. But now, because we made a hole in it, it's like dripping into the bath. You know, and like with a lot of people who were stressed, you just think, oh, I'm really stressed, I'll go and have a bath. Well, having a bath isn't going to be a relaxing thing because those tiles on it are probably going to fall into the bath at some point. <sighs> and I tell you. Oh. So anyway, I'm going to go out in this rain and I'm going to I'm going to go to the charity shop because I've got to get my husband's prescription. It's apparently it's ready for some reason. I don't know why they're suddenly like on the ball. This has been this is the second month in a row. <laughs> So you know the hell is freezing over when boots can actually do what they need to do. I have sold a skirt this morning and a pair of jeans. And it's only gone, it's only nine o'clock-ish. These are the jeans that I've sold. These have been around on auction a few times. I put them on auction because they had like leg wear on it. 
um, but they offered me fifteen pounds, and they were starting at ten. So I just thought, right, well they can go. They are seven for mankind, low rise ginger apparently. Um, yeah, nice flare on them. Let's pack them up. So I've got to go out of my way to the post office, drop these off, and then go over. It'd be nice to have a little bit of a change because I have had my head stuck in spreadsheets. But I've not got like big hopes for the charity shop because it's Easter holidays. What am I saying? I've only sold two things. The skirt hasn't been paid for, but I've sold these. These sold at 8 a.m. So, you know, <laughs> I've had like really bad sales, but I know that I've been doing my accounts, not doing listing. So these have sold these chino shorts. Yeah, chino, they're not cargo, although they're very thick. Um, these are fat face, I think, but they just, it looks a bit different when it's menswear. So these have gone for 22 pounds, even though they have a bit of a mark on them, but the mark is so barely visible. So they've got like marks there and I've been washing and washing them and have given up. <laughs> those have got to go <sighs> how do you stop like worrying about things I just I don't know how do you stop worrying about things the thing is just, it's not something that's on my plate it's just so frustrating and I think there's, there's part of me that it was like thinking you know this is like a this is sort of like telling me how important it is that I need to get my room sorted out. So basically the bathroom that's leaking right next door to it is where I keep all my stock. So can you imagine if the leak was on the other room and it would now be pouring water over all my stock and there's just nowhere else for it to go. So yeah, that's one of the reasons why I need to get organised. If I'm organised and everything is in boxes, it's not so bad. But it's not, it's just absolute chaos in there. So it's just pointing to the fact that I do need to, like, sort stuff out. <sighs> and the thing is, it's not even like, it's not even like we can do anything because we're not in control of the situation. Because it's not, you know, we are an apartment. And it's not our roof. Um, this is the other thing that I've sold. So this is one of the things that was free from um, the house clear out, the clear out that my husband did. And so that's Paul and Frank. I have had absolutely loads of watches on this, um, but it's taken ages to sell. But I left it. I I left it on at fifteen pounds because I thought it was quite cute, and it's a design that I haven't seen, but it has got a few marks on it which I pointed out. So that's the mark I mean nothing so to speak only because it's been in such, like a bad storage situation but they use my coupon which I'll be quite glad when my coupon ends <laughs> because I don't, it's like amazing idea to put this coupon on that ran for the entire of Lent <laughs> oh, wrong on Thursday it's only 10% and it has brought me some sales but then I keep thinking oh you know, maybe, you know, I would have had full price sales if I didn't have them. But, you know, maybe I wouldn't have had sales at all if I didn't have the coupon. So thirteen fifty with the coupon for that. And I'm still doing this free post thing. And I've probably got that on first class post. Um, yeah. See, I'm like moaning about the fact that first class is 3 But having some of my accounts, I realised, well, you know, once upon a time... First class post small parcels used to be three pounds sixty eight. This these are the eBay prices, not the Royal Mail prices. So it's not actually that much of a rise. It's just that they dropped it to three pounds thirty five, which seemed like luxury. Um, I've noticed that the second class prices yesterday have gone back to two eighty five. So. I just, I don't know. Maybe they'll like rethink them again. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I don't even think Royal Mail know. 
Uh, anyway, I'm going to go to the charity shop and see what happens. Um, I'm probably going to get wet. Um, this anxiety, the more it rains, it's just going to get worse and worse with me thinking about my uh, bathroom ceiling. But what can you do? <sighs> Let's continue with our day or commence the day. Hello, Wednesday morning, still in chaos. It just feels like there is stuff everywhere. And even though I'm like trying to sort it, it never gets sorted. But I will persevere. I'll go get a post done and I'm probably going to time block some time to do accounts and then time to do listings so that I make sure I get some fresh listings up. I have plenty of stuff photograph ready. I did bust through a load of stuff on Monday. I had a pile of stuff which needed photographing so that all got done. So there's at least 30 things there photographed ready to go on. So things I have sold. This is a personal item. At the time when these films came out you know, even though I was like early 20s, I was still a bit of a nerd. So I got every one of these sticker albums and completed them. But for some reason, this one stuck around for ages. And when I say ages, I mean like two years on my eBay account. So um, Fellowship of the Ring sold really quickly because people weren't up, weren't up on Lord of the Rings. So that one was quite rare. And I must have got about £80 for that. It is a com it is complete and stuck in. It's if it was loose, if it was loose um, sticker stock, complete. You know, it's much easier to sell sticker albums. And then the Return of the King one, that one sold quite quickly as well. And again, for around like the fifty to eighty region, because I don't know, pe people couldn't. F it was really hard to find that sticker album and to find the stickers for it. I remember at the time thinking, are you kidding me? So I've got I've got one and two and I can't get the Return of the King. Um, but this one was ten a penny because they'd known the success of the first one and then this one was quite heavily pushed, I think. So, yeah, it's taken me ages to sell this and I've only sold it for 20. Well, 22. The other ones went overseas and this one hasn't, so... I'm actually glad to see the back of that because I keep feeling like I'm going to like, even like looking for it, I was like, oh my God, where the hell is it? <laughs> um, but it was in with all the records. Um, yeah, so <laughs> I'm sure you might have seen my other video, but <laughs> I have put now in here, ding, ding. I have put some of my uh, brother's records in there. I feel like that there's more, so there must be like another pile somewhere. I think there's a pile in the bottom of my wardrobe. So, uh, my God, the amount of tidying that I'm organising that I need to do. Um, but there's just not enough hours in the day. I, I had a weird dream about being in a capsule hotel in... Um, I don't think, I, well, it was like one of those capsule hotels in Japan, but somebody was like nagging me. Um, and I was supposed to be going out with my family and uh, there wasn't any room for me in the car because there was somebody else in the car. <laughs> so that, so I went back into this capsule, ho this capsule like um, hotel room and just sulked there. But it was like really bizarre I and mean, I've sort of looked it up about what it is to be in confined spaces and it just means that you're not fulfilling yourself to your potential so I just need to get more organized anyway again the things they've sold um so this is a little taxi a lego taxi so this is one of the 1970s ones I'm going to take it out because I need to break it down anyway I just always feel like a piece is going to come miss, come flying off it. Um, but I have to break it down so that it goes... I put it between two pieces of card so there's no damage in the post, hopefully. Um, and just because it's cheaper to send it. But it's, um, it's always a bit difficult with these ones from the 1970s because the wheels are fused, you see, you can't take... And you can't really break, down, break the wheels down, but it's just a taxi. But yeah, 1970s. I think I have 
a taxi rank that I need to build. There is so much stuff which, you know, I probably mentioned in previous videos and then I haven't dealt with it. And it's ridiculous because, you know, it's 20 to 30 pounds, which is just sitting in boxes. And there's loads of like little sets like that at 20 and 30 pounds. So, you know, if, if I've potentially got like, you know, what, 30, 20 to 30 pound sets, that's 200 to 300 pounds that I haven't got in my bank account. But yeah, I've spent on job lots. Um, I have just recently seen, I think I'm gonna have to blast my nose, been in the dust room. <laughs> been, in, been in the dusty room. Right, yeah, I was, what I was saying, Daily Refinement, you know, he's quite a big player and, you know, a big YouTuber, but does a lot of eBay in. He's just had his uh, eBay account was suspended. And it's based on the not being able to prove where you've bought stuff from. So this is the thing with my accounts, which I am like putting a lot of work into at the minute. One of the things that I do make sure that I have, and one of the things, this is like one of the first things that I do when I do a haul, it's usually untagged because I've taken the tags off and I've put a line item in on my um, spreadsheet and that a line item always feeds into it. So then I can trace it back. I mean, this is, this is April, so it's just sat here. So I can always trace it back to where I've bought it from. But obviously, I buy a lot of job lots. So I buy a lot of job lots of stuff and then I sort through it. But I do save those invoices to, um, so I have a tab of all the job lots that I've got so I can attribute where I've got it from. But I could never attribute where I got the set from because a lot of the time the set will be completed from like taking parts from multiple job lots. But I do have a record of it. Um, yeah, it, it's, it, it's very weird. And then I said, but his, his issue was, is that he couldn't prove where he got high ticket value items from. And they had come from buying stuff from his friends who were like clearing out, which I'm always very reluctant to do because I just, you know, doing business with friends is not, you know, you wouldn't buy a used car from a friend, would you? Judge Judy always tells you to do these things. So I have Judge Judy in my ear when I'm doing my photographing. You know, so... <laughs> somebody offered me, said, said, somebody who was a work colleague, an old work colleague, she'd messaged me the other day about stuff. And I was just, I was just so reluctant because I don't want to go around and then like give somebody a value. I like to just, I, I just like to, the, you know, to just go to charity shops and not really have to get involved with bartering and offending people. I just want to pay the price that they're asking for it if I'm happy with it and go. It's not It's not really for me, so. Yeah, I've always been a bit reluctant about that. I don't know what anybody else's feelings are. I mean, I suppose a lot of people are happy to do that, but I just, I just don't like doing it because it, you know, you've then got to like pay them or, you know, if you take the stuff from them and then you sell it, it's just, yeah, I've done it. I've done it once, but they just gave me the stuff because they were going to send it to a charity shop. But there is a reluctance. And if that's the outcome is that you could get your eBay account suspended, then, uh, <clears throat> so yeah, <laughs> the next two things that I am going to show you, these are things from like back in 2020 when I probably got these and I've still I could I I can go on my spreadsheet and I can find where they are and I can pull the receipt out and the box with all my receipts is like sat there because I'm sorting through it so you know <laughs> if somebody really wants to know you know how much I paid for this and I know that th this has been sold at a loss because this has been sat around for ages so this has gone on a 99p auction I have charged the postage you know, <laughs> I've been quite astonished this week because there was somebody who's been boastful on Instagram about the fact that they sold like loads of stuff on auction. So I had a little snoop on their eBay account and half of the stuff they sold for 99p and they hadn't charged postage. And I just thought, well, not half of it, about 10% of it. And I just thought, what are you doing? 
people are hanging on your every word. They do a YouTube and people are hanging on their every word and it's bullshit. Cost price, fees, postage, packaging. Don't make sense. So yeah, I know that this goes, this will be a loss. And when I put it on my spreadsheet, it will show that it's a loss and I'll probably have lost about like two pounds after fees and cost price. Um, I would imagine that I've probably spent two or three pounds on this. I've only sold it for 99p. I do have a postage on there of four pounds that I have charged that I've added onto it, but it's a very heavyweight t-shirt. I thought this would go really quickly because it's like velvety. It's really heavyweight. This print is gorgeous, but Converse is just a bit shady, I think. <laughs> and then the same with this one. This has been on auction for ages. I've had it on Buy It Now um, at £20. It's just, a, it's just a loss leader. <laughs> it's just useless. So it's whistles. It's got alpaca in it. It's really nice. It's a gorgeous, like, emerald green. You can see the hairiness of it. I thought it was a really nice jacket, but nobody else has. So, so this has been on auction at 9 99 um, And it's gone around a few cycles of the auction, me trying to get rid of it. And I haven't had any interest. And somebody offered me £4 yesterday, so I took it. Um, so it's, it's £4 with £4 postage. I probably paid 3 So that will be a loss after fees. Because the fees are just... There's no logic with eBay fees. They just put a finger in the air. You know, generally, if you sell something for £15, it's like um, £3.21, because it's three two one, three pounds twenty one £3.21 fees. But then sometimes it's not. If, I've, if it's on an offer, it's generally 90p if it's on one of these offer things that I've done. But then other times, if it's, gone to, if, if it's something that's sold in a different category, like that, which is jackets, It'll probably be more like six pounds something. And I've I've had some things on the fee structure which have obviously got like issues with them, which there couldn't possibly ever be a percentage of the, the sold price that I've had because the fees are higher than the sold price. But it's because they're charging you fees on your postage. Oh, I don't know. And I mean, I've looked, I've looked at this downloaded invoice stuff and you know I, I know how to work with excel and i move it all around and i sort of look at it but some of it it just doesn't make sense and you just take it on the nose um so only decent sale that i had yesterday well no no i had some other ones they actually bothered to pay when they offered the stuff so this person offered me yesterday at like um eight in the morning for this and i accepted their offer i had this up for 30 pounds um, and I probably could have held out for £30. Somebody sent me an offer of 20 99 and I took it. Um, it. It's brand new with tags. Yeah, brand new with tags. Do excuse me for having a brief interlude there. But um, my phone dislikes the fact that I've got loads and loads of photos of clothing and things that needs um, listing. So it hasn't got enough memory. Yeah, so it's a white stuff skirt. Uh, called the Ashley linen skirt um yeah I don't so much mind the fact that uh, that I've been crossed out because you can still see that it's 65 it was 35 I was advertising it at 20, 30 pounds um yeah it's what it is and obviously I think I only paid two because I don't think I paid extortion for that right so I'm going to get these things packed up and I am going to press on with my accounts and listing and I'm going to tell you later if I've had some success with time blocking and getting listing done and accounts done today and time is time is firing on I come back on because I have just sold a dress to Germany um, and this they've got this thing in Germany called the packaging act something like that the packaging act but anyway so this is the dress that I've sold I've let it go for 16 pounds but I wasn't even thinking but I was just oh what does it matter but you know 
you know, let's just let's just get that get that gone because it's Kim and Co. And I'm never quite sure about Kim and Co. And they end up hanging around for ages. I possibly could have got more for it, but you know, they'd sent me a nice message before. And then as they sold, I was like, ah, oh, you have to be careful, don't you, now with the packaging. So I can't just throw that in a poly bag. Well, I suppose I could because you know it doesn't matter however i do have card packaging and i do have this i haven't yet tried this but i have been looking at other places that sell these types of um zero plastic tape so let's see it doesn't look any different really it looks like this you know how sellotape looks like when it's been in the loft? So, apparently this is zero waste sellotape. It doesn't look that different. I mean, it says zero waste on it and it's literally new out of the packet. So, I'm going to package this dress. Obviously, it's not going to go large letter. Um, and it will be like bulked out of it. I often send dresses in these anyway if they've got sequins in, but I also put them in plastic. And you know, I'm a bit iffy about the fact that it's, you know, it's going over this, overseas. I normally like to give them a little bit more packaging, but apparently, you know, they can people can get in trouble, I think, over there if they get if they're throwing away too much plastic. But it I'm I don't know if it is just focused around like the straws and the rest of it. It is clear as mud when you go on eBay's sort of like info about it and Amazon's info and anything else. It's just not so sure. So I'm just going to put it in this anyway. The last thing I want is the customer to end up having like extra, um, you know, price, <laughs> extra thing on there. But I mean, the thing is though, how would anybody know that that's zero waste? The stuff that I've been looking at, it very much looks like it is, um, what you call it? it, it looks like it's, you know, I can't think what, what the word is, but it looks like it's cardboard, but it's been thicker tape and I am going to get some. And I actually followed them on um, Instagram and then they sent me a, a coupon code for their store, so... Um, I will be giving them a whirl shortly. Right, so I do my own, obviously this, if this was going to GSP, you guys probably would just leave it in the hands of eBay. But I've printed off my address with my IOS numbers, so I'm going to do this myself. And I'll probably drop them a message saying I have sent it in zero waste packaging, just so that they know. So yeah, right, so let's see if this package looks okay. <laughs> So, it is looking okay. It doesn't look any different to normal tape. I mean, you can tell it's a bit opaque, I suppose. I've got all the sort of details on there. I see I like to put a bit of tape over them in case they come off. Um, but it seems okay. It was a bit of an arse folding the dress into this. Um, I don't know. Maybe I'll start doing this a bit more. I don't know. It does add. I mean, I know that that wasn't cheap. It is in here somewhere. And I think this was about £3 just for this roll. Um, 30 metres. You see, and if I'm using these card things, because they, ha because they fold there and they have this bit where it can let water in, I do like to tape over it. I do send my Lego in this and... It is a pain in the arse, but I don't know. <laughs> well, you know, you can't say I'm not for trying to be environmentally friendly. And I, I suppose the thing is, is that if they hadn't introduced that law and I hadn't like learned about that law, I wouldn't have looked into it. So, you know, it is something that I could start implementing. But, you know, if I start implementing that, I am going to make a massive deal about that. It's going to be one of my USPs on my eBay account if I start doing zero waste. Because it's got to pay off in some way, hasn't it? I have had it requested before of me to use zero waste on my parcels. Um, but I never got any decent feedback for it, so she can go and swivel. 
Okay, right, I am going to actually go and post these things now. Okay, post is all done. Um, I'm going to actually give that a try doing that plastic free thing. Because, yeah, it's just... You know, do it now before it's before it like becomes like a great big deal. It's not a big deal at all. I could I could easily do that with more parcels. Um, I think there's issues as well. You see, I think one of the reasons why I've done it is because I'm sure that householders get charged in Germany for how much plastic waste actually goes in their rubbish. So I did it for that reason. It's trying to be nice. So bargains. More of these mooses, 57p today. They're okay, my husband likes them. I'm so thrilled that the fire pit range is back. The fire pit range is back. So this is a new one. I've never tried these. They're usually 450, but they were two pounds 57. So I thought, well, I'll grab them. I've got two packs of them. Uh, it looks like it says scary, scary chicken. And that one's it's got a thing over it. Drumsticks covered and marinated in garlic and spices. I mean, they might be. Don't know. But, you know, the weekend, the weekend is the weekend. And uh, it's a long weekend. And I'll, something like that might be nice, you know. And, you know, at one point when I was out, the sun came out. But then it's raining. Uh, so, you know. Maybe we might better go on the balcony at some point. <laughs> I've got two of these because I really like these. So I'm probably going to have one of these for lunch. I just really like these. They're so expensive. Um, but £1.20. Yeah. It's not fantastic, but it's okay. Um, my husband is working tomorrow. So I grabbed him them for nice tea. Just some chicken and mushroom slices. And then... They had a dip for 36p. In actual fact, they had absolutely loads, and you can see how bad that. That was the, that's the actual place where I showed you there in front of where the door is, is where the entrance to the car park is. So you can see it is bonkers at that Tesco. Right, I'm going to wind this video up. I know I said that I was going to tell you how far I'd got on, but you know, it's it does actually midday now because we've been classing about. So. I'm going to aim to get at least 10, 10 new things listed today and crack on with my account. So that's going to be my goals um, and I will achieve them. And I should probably put in my cereal bowl. I should probably like wash that up. So yes, that's me done. We do have some frogs, but I'm going to crack on because the day is flying away and I've not achieved quite enough. So thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye. Uh, extreme close up. You do it. Uh, extreme close up. Oh, jeez. I'm dizzy. Winded. Ziggy? What? You do it. Uh, extreme close up. Is that right? Yeah, sort of. Yay, thanks for watching. Bye.